Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you a really fun card. This one's kind of blown my mind. I think it's fantastic. Now this was requested by I think three or four ladies. So thank you to those of you that sent me messages. A couple of you sent an email as well. I think I was sent two links, but the one I watched was by a German YouTuber and the the YouTube is called Creative Pause EL. I will link it below. Now, it was all in German. I didn't understand. Well, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it was German, but I didn't understand any of it. But I watched it through and it was pretty easy once I kind of saw the folds and stuff, what I thought she did. Some of you may have seen this before because her tutorial is two years old. It didn't take me too long to do at all. You don't need any specialty dies. So on the front, it's very simple. This is kind of my first draft. So I haven't made any more, but I definitely want to revisit this in some different sizes because I think it's fantastic. So like I said, the front here, very simple. And then when you open it up, you have this fantastic pop-up. Now I've created this rainbow of butterflies, but you could have anything on here. I say in the tutorial, you could have flowers all on here with leaves. You could have someone's favourite hobby, all different icons running along the top. Now you could have this displayed like so. You could have it displayed flat. Now in the tutorial, I only tell you to cut eight of these or cut eight strips. I would cut nine and add the ninth. It's really easy. You'll know what I mean when you watch the video. But I think if you add one more, then it will lie completely flat because you'll see mine rocks. But I am going to try this again on a five by seven one. So I'm going to try nine of them. I can't remember how many she did. So, um, yeah, she may well have done nine as well. But I think it's fantastic. Let me know what you think. I think it's so unusual. If you like pop up cards, you like those unusual cards. Like I said, no dies are needed for this one. And it's really quite quick. These are all stamped in colour. This is pattern paper and a few score lines. It took me probably about 15, 20 minutes to do. There is a bit of bulk. So you need to make sure that you use a lighter weight cardstock, about 180, 220 max. I wouldn't go into your heavyweight cardstock. It's going to be way too bulky for posting, but I think it's fantastic. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So I'm using the stamps from my Butterflies Galore stamp set. You get tons of butterflies. You get the dies to cut them all out, but you can also then have die cut butterflies as well. There's these three. So I've just stamped all of my butterflies in, in rainbow order. So I've got red, orange, yellow, green. So I've done eight, blue, dark blue, purple and pink. And these are the colours that I've used. You can pause the video if you want to write all those down. And they're all the distressed oxides, but any, any inks are going to work. You might not even be doing a, you might not be doing a rainbow order. I think these would look lovely, like all in pinks, all in purples. Whatever you're doing, it will look beautiful. And like I said, it may not even be butterflies anyway. Then I thought, what's going to go nice with these in terms of papers? And I was looking at some plain like polka dots and things, but then I found this pad that I've not had that long actually, and it's by Textures and it's the brush strokes. And there's these designs and they've got all the colours, obviously of the rainbow there. So I'm going to have them probably something like that. And then when the butterflies are all kind of fanned out, it should hopefully look really nice. So I've got myself a six by six card blank. And then I've got these two pieces, which are five and three quarters squared ish. I mean, it's a shop brought six by six, so it always comes in slightly under. So these are probably more, it's about five and seven, eight squared. And these are probably around five and five, eight squared. I just trimmed them down to fit. Okay. So that's all of like the decoration pieces. Now to make the main kind of wave of pop-up, you want eight pieces. So I've already stuck those all together and I'll show you how to do that on this one. So they're all one inch wide by 10 inches and you're going to score at four, eight, eight and three quarters and nine and a half. You're going to do that on all eight pieces. And then to fold them, you're going to fold your four inch one. So it's a mountain fold. So then turn it so you've got this V shape. You're going to do another mountain fold, then a valley, and then finish with a mountain. And then that piece is going to stick onto there. So we've got this. It's kind of how I do my stands for my cards. You're going to have that shape there. If I turn it that way, that's what you want. It's your four inch score line, then your eight, and then that little W. Add a little glue to the end here and then if you just concertina fold that all down and just sit that over the top and let the whole thing fold flat because that's how it's going to sit in the card so just hold that up there so you can see and it should stand on its own then you know you folded it right if it does that like i said you want to do that eight times and now we're going to stick these together so you want this let's call it the mouth you want that facing you 
and I've got the tab side facing up. So the tab I've, that I've just glued is just there, that's facing up. So I'm going to sit that one down here first. If you've got lines, you know, grid on your mat, use that to keep everything nice and straight. You're going to take another one, make sure it's the right way up, the same as the other one. And we're going to stick this on the top of this one, but only half of it. So you just want to add your glue just down will be the left hand side and then just sit it roughly halfway on like I said if you use a grid then you'll be able to kind of line that all up you just want them kind of equally spaced if it's slightly under half that's fine slightly over just make sure they're all the same okay so now we've got that effect you've got this little step okay and you're going to take another one Again, just place that over the top and just keep focusing on these spaces here that they're all the same and keep it all straight any track but just follow that and you just want to repeat this until you've stuck them all down And then once they're all stuck down, you'll probably find it's got a life of its own now, but you'll have this really cool pop-up, like so. Isn't that clever? <laughs> Such a simple fold, but just so clever. So I'm gonna stick down, well, I'm just gonna lay these on here for a minute because I just wanna see, I want that blue to be visible there. And I like the yellow and the pink down here because that's going to stick. It's surprising actually how much of the paper you still see. Because I thought, oh, it's going to hide most of the paper, but it doesn't. So now what you want to do is flip, flip this over and you want to add glue. I'm going to use the quick grab all over the back of this first piece. It's only that one that you need to stick down from this side. So just pinch it all together and you want to get this in the center and i'm just going up to the score line not on it make sure this is all straight here and here and then you're going to add glue all to the top of this side and then you can close the card okay and just hold that all there for a minute so i've just stuck this piece on the front which is from that same paper pad but now when you open it up how clever is that? It looks really effective. Now, mine's not lying flat. I can't remember if hers does, but I guess if you add another one of these, then that would probably eliminate that. I'm definitely going to revisit this because I want to do it in some other card sizes. So I will will look at that. But I, I mean, it, it's fab. I'm, I'm not disappointed at all. And then you can stick all of the butterflies down. So she added a tiny little strip of card that was like I just cut a piece it was just literally like that and then she stuck it in the middle I guess so there was maybe more surface to attach the butterflies a bit higher but I'm going to have mine like all different angles now you need to make sure that the one right at the top is going to stay hidden when you close the card so just check that one but it'll be the one that's right in the middle but all the rest, I will just be able to, to stick on the front. So I'm going to, again, follow the rainbow order. Okay, so that's the finished card. I've used this sentiment here from this new stamp set called Craftiness Sentiments, and it's this one, You Colour My World. I just thought it was the perfect match. So you can see everything there. What I've done is I've not added the navy butterfly, and I've left this back one free, because actually if you stick something on it, it kind of stops that one opening up, because it catches. So she may well say that in the original video, but like I said, it's, it's in another language, so I've just kind of gone with what I thought. But I think if you add nine of these keep this end free and that end free and then just use the seven then i think it's going to lay flat but i mean that rocks a little bit i'm not too worried you could also display this like that i think that looks really nice as well if you've got you know something else on there like flowers you can obviously have your sentiment up here 
it's I just think it's brilliant and then on the front I've just kept it simple because this is more like just a it's just a just because card at the moment for my first run I'm pretty pleased with this um I think it's turned out wonderful there is bulk with this one so you will have to take that into account um with your you know when posting but like I said you don't want a heavyweight card stock in here I used about a 220 I wouldn't really go any higher than that I think even a 180 will probably be fine and that's certainly going to then reduce that bulk for you but let me know what you think I think it's wonderful I tag like I said the original creator of this card in the description box below she'll be able to check hers out and uh, let me know if you're going to give it a go I, I'm, I'm going to try it with flowers next I want to do a five by seven landscape size I think that's going to look nice it's going to give us that little bit more width and I can see this on an eight by eight seven by seven those bigger cards oh I just think it'll look wonderful imagine all leaves and flowers well, my mind is blown. <laughs> so as always, I will link as much of the product that I've used in the description box below the video. I will have some other fun pop-up cards coming up now. You might want to watch those next. And if you've enjoyed today, give me a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.